Hello, hello, hello guys, yeah. good afternoon, good afternoon, so yeah, um, big day today, because we're going to play the Sinister Six, no? Sinister Six, and yeah, but first we're going to uh, fight Killmonger first, so later let's see, but first, yeah, I think I should give you an update about the apocalypse expansion so that's yeah the expansion happened from yesterday or earlier today i think yeah earlier today so let's check this out so yeah yeah they'll bring its sister 
is the update yesterday i think so that's the last update that we checked so let's see ano bang ano um, update for today so yan apocalypse static so the death of professor x in a freak time travel accident resulted in a reality in which the world is ruled by the mutant day this part apocalypse so yeah i'm not sure kung ano difference niya sa ano no for first man pero yun nga may apocalypse ulit pero uh this time much more heroes no yan so most of this yun nga na spoil na siya <laughs> pero yeah ito yung mga ibang heroes so there are seven characters no for four um heroes and then three villains so this is the age of apocalypse yeah so we have a magneto again and then saber tooth and wild child so parang dito sa timeline na to ano na sila no uh, heroes so yeah um it looks like yeah there's one equipment card only one mini card yeah so i think that's the equipment card yeah hype train hype train very interesting to uh uh expansion at all no? so sige let's learn more about it together so hindi ko pa masyado na deep dive to no? dapat talaga kanina babasahin ko pero anyway at least maaga yung stream natin ngayon So, yeah, uh, siguro yan, heroes muna, sige, so si X-Man. Yan, I have to search no, kung ano itura na ito, kasi yun, yan, lumabas siya sa mga spoiler. And sinabi ko, sino si X-Man? And yeah, wala akong masyadong nakita. <laughs> And yan, ito pala itura niya. So, tingnan natin, um, ito, so he has 16 cards no, sa deck niya. So, meron siya 16 cards. And... Uh, each of them with a different special effect no? so ang dami na niyang card tapos puro special effect pa and during setup he chose his 3 starting hands special effects are too numerous to mention them all okay ang dami daw but they range from absorbing psionic energy to heal himself or others or shield him from attacks hey si Jess hello Jess good afternoon um So, yeah, may mental powers din siya that protects him from crisis tokens or randomizing effects. So, ayun. Or can be used to affect other minds, flipping cards in the storyline. Making henchmen attack the villain. So, may mga ano siya, no? Ayun niya, mind control, mind control siya. Very cool. So, ito. Uh, ito yung iba niya, no? Uh, move. Tapos, you may flip up to something cards siguro in the storyline I'm not sure why you want to flip it di ba? Uh, as long as this card in the storyline at the end of the villain turn you have one black in hand you may draw ah so I think if you have one if you want if you have one or two cards in your hand you may draw one card no parang ganun and then concussive blast three attack against a single target so parang so yun nga parang ano lang to eh Mjolnir di ba yung Mjolnir ganito rin so yan medyo inuulit lang din nila yung mechanic actually yung skill pero iniiba nila yung pangalan tapos ito siya yun know, ganda ganda nung character design niya no? I like tong mga, yung mga transparent ano material no? gusto gusto ko And then, si Morph. So, we have Morph. Uh, so, his ability to change shape makes him incredibly resourceful, giving him an inordinate number of wild action, which his teammate will certainly also appreciate. He can make the most of the previous played hero card by adapting his shape to form any action needed. Ah, ayos ah. Meanwhile, an aggressive shape can deal enough damage to knock the villain away. Or a defensive shape can help him avoid damage. Morph shape 
shifting form makes him virtually indestructible allowing him to recover quickly he also has very easy time evading enemy trying to escape to chase him down so ayan akala ko meron siya nung persona like yung parang penance mode kaya ako may ganun siya kaya hindi ba nagbomor so anyway meron siya nito if the previous hero card in the storyline has the most uh, at uh, has at most one symbol at the bottom you may wild so you may use a wild action ah uh, yes sir parang ang ano nito you may wild so basically you can do you can do uh, wild action so si Magneto so this one is Age of Apocalypse na Magneto no uh, I think ito yung yun niya older version siguro diba so with a lot more heroic action in than his Earth 616 counterpart so Earth 616 yung nasa X-Men base game is Mag Magneto Kinesis has also been honed to focus on devastating ag attacks against a single villain. He has also become a respected leader to point of sac sacrificing himself in order to allow his teammate to do what he needs to be done. What needs to be done. So, ayan, meron siyang Magneto Kinesis. Magneto Kinesis. So, um, to attack, split as you like in your adjacent location. In your end adjacent location or tatlo against a villain in your location. So, malakas nga siya sa villain. No? Tapos, meron siya move. Let, ang weird nito ah. Pero yung leadership niya maganda ah. Distribute two wild tokens no. If you do discard one card from your hand. Ayun lang. Kailangan pa mag discard. Pero, ayun. Ah, nababawasan niya siya no. Sina sacrifice niya yung sarili niya. So, sad boy si Magneto. Pero, too wild yung mabibigay niya. Tapos, meron siyang helmet. So, permanent siya. If you're forced to play your hero card face down or randomly, okay, you may instead turn face down your earliest face up card in the storyline. Hmm. Ganda na ito, ha? Um, malakas siya against kay... Um, do you call this? It's si Mysterio. Yung nagpaparandom ng card play, no? Yan. And this is Sabertooth and Wild Child. So, ito, yun yan. Napansin ko yung name nito sa leak din. Uh, magkasama sila. And yan, inanticipate ko din na nasa isang model lang sila. Kasi yung weird naman, di ba? Pinagsama nila, so. Uh, keeping Watcher barely under control, bound to him by strong chain, Sabertooth can unleash him to attack others. Even allowing him to attack adjacent location, Watcher can also track down their enemies moving as much as needed to find the nearest tag and attack him. Sabertooth much needed protection to the pair using his regenerative healing factor to recover from wounds received. So, combination siya ng damage. Or siguro mobility na rin no, kay Wild Child and si Saber to, for the top no? And wala siyang introduction or anything dun sa card no? So let's see kung ano itsura ng card nito sa future. And then yun, may three villains. So first si Apocalypse. So parang basic villain lang siya ata no. The first card he plays forces them to refresh their hand so they miss out any vital starting hands no. So yung may mga starting hands like for example si, Wol si Wolverine di ba? Automatic ata. Discarded sa ilalim. Tapos ano siya? Um, redraw. His bomb also further limit the hero's power by removing cards directly from their deck. Which also happens if they're KO. Grabe, nag-aalis siya ng card. So, pag nabawasan ka siguro, or yun niya, kailangan niya, let's say, discard the top card of your deck. No? Remove the top card of your deck, siguro ganun. 
uh, heroes will have to complete a special mission in order to reset the timeline so yun nga so parang ano siya days of future pass eh, pero days of future pass is yung sa sentinels eh. I, uh, i'm referring to some movie no? which is sentinels din di ba sentinels oh, pa, sentinels din naman the sentinels din pala yun So, ayan, more information kay Apocalypse. Uh, Apocalypse's position of power gives him an army of powerful henchmen to do his bidding. With only one attacking each turn, but only the henchmen being vulnerable to damage. No? Nemesis de- deals devastating damage all around him. Shadow King turns Zero's card face down. Ah, so may mga ano nga itong turn. Okay, that's more of him. So, okay, scroll through lang tayo. Ito naman si Dark Beast. So, si Henry McCoy pa rin siya, no? Pero yan, si Dark Beast na siya. And may sarili siyang, ano, Dark Bolt, which is this one. Eh. Hindi ko lang kung bagong token ba to. Ah, hindi, hindi siya bagong token. So, these are henchmen, um, threat, and ano. Okay. So, tignan natin to kasi bagong mechanics siya. As his experiments are corrupting mutant DNA, canceling all special effects on hero card. Instead of the regular mission, heroes will need to rescue civilians, defeat thugs, and clear threats following the precise DNA sequence. Sequencing required to complete the com- to complete the restore mutant DNA special mission. So, ito 'yun ata, uh, 'di ba? Ayan, restore mutant DNA. So, I think kailangan in succession na tayo pagtapos mo dito. Any task uh, done out of sequence is lost. Okay. So, you cannot clear threats kung wala pa sa sequence. So, kailangan tapos to parehas and then you can clear threats and then before you can do this kailangan meron ka muna na ito. So, parang gano'n. Okay. With this bomb not only attacking heroes in multiple locations but also removing all thugs and civilians. Oh, so, nag-uubos din siya. No? To feed his gene pool, accelerating his master plan. So, ah, okay. Ah, ito may gene pool siya. Okay, here's the gene pool. So, may mga ilalagay dito or something. Okay. Dark Beast threats uh, further his Grim DNA experiment, forcing heroes to lose action symbol, action tokens, or hero cards. So, may mga henchmen din siya. Yan, yung mga to. So, hindi ko, siya, hindi ko sila kilala. No? Pero yung isa in group. So. Yan, ito si Dark Beast. And nasa si Beast. So, ito si Beast. So, parang same na same lang yung October nila. So, iba. Parang kulay lang pinagkaiba. Yung post is almost the same. Pero yung suot niya pala. No? So, parang may ano ba to? Metallic. Metallic ano ba siya? Metallic legs ba siya? Or parang, ah, parang guard lang. No? May knee guard. <laughs> So, next is Nemesis. Ito, yung pinaka-hype na hype yung mga iba, no? So, uh, he, his attack effect heroes over a large area, not only damaging them, but also healing Nemesis. Being KO'd by Nemesis may also break a hero spirit, causing them to permanently lose a card. So, maka nang tatanggal sila ng card sa deck, which is, yeah, much more challenging. Discarding civilians around him to gain even more crisis token, saber to act as his reluctant uh, henchmen, so moving around and attacking heroes, though they may be able to reason with him if they have enough heroic symbol on their hand. So, ito siya, and yun nga, yung iba nag ano agad kasi for the painters, no, yung mga painter. Uh, sinabi naman dito, helmet will be removable so painters can reach. This is gone. So this is a 3D render. 
So, sana mas in, less opaque, I think, no, yung helmet. Sana ganun. Pero this is a 3D render pa lang kasi. So, hindi pa siya yung final product. And ito yung mga different location na pwede natin. Actually, di na familiar sa akin itong mga location na to. Or siguro, just for ano na lang. So, sabi dito, ito, yan, si Dark Beast. Meron siyang permanent location effect. Any henchman entering play in this location has plus one health. Yan. And that's the apocalypse update. No? Very nice. So, it's like, it feels like, ano lang siya, no? Bunch of uh, expansion. Ay, bunch of expansion. Bunch of villains lang. Tapos, actually, ang pinaka-special is si Beast. I think kasi may sarili siyang dashboard. Pero, we're, I'm still not sure. Wait lang. Balik natin sa components. Ha? Kasi nilista na nila yung components. Eh. So, tingnan natin ulit. Okay. Yeah. So, so, si Apocalypse has yung standard villain uh, dashboard lang. Okay. So, if you, can, if you notice this, no, it's like, It's not a campaign up ole. Eh. Parang pili ka lang sino gusto mo bilhin na kalaban. So, kaya ang laking tulong talaga ng campaign map para ma-flesh out, 'di ba? Like yung campaign map kasi it, hindi lang siya yung oh, ito yung mga kalaban mo. Para may story ka na sinusundan eh. Na you have to defeat this one kasi mas malakas tong boss na to, parang ganoon, 'di ba? So, 'yun. I I wish mag-continue pa yung gumagawa nitong campaign map, diba? Para ma-flesh out natin itong mga characters na to. Diba? Like, yung yung gumawa kasi yung campaign map, for sure, he has some knowledge, ba? Diba? Like, advanced knowledge din siguro sa comics na kaya ganito in a way, nakaset up yung campaign map. So, eto na si Aurora. So, na-unlock na siya for ano. Actually, yung bilis lang. Sino, yung nirelease yung Uh, expansion, no? Biglang na-unlock to. And, ano, ilan na ba? 13, 13, 10 na. So, tingnan natin yung next. Ad again, advertisement for the... Okay, na-unlock na din pala si Husk. So, Husk should be unlocked already na din. No? So, yeah, nag-iiba-iba siya. So, may parang metallic form siya. Pero, Paiba-iba yung ano niya eh. Yan o. Oh. May fire version siya. And what na. So, ah, may adamantium skin siya. Adamantium, her adamantium skin, skin protects her from damage every villain turn. Her fire skin gives her extra attacks every turn. Her rubber makes her stretchy so she can perform extra heroic action. So, ano to? <laughs> Pa paano ba to? Yun, ah, yun lang, by skill. So, by hero card talaga. Hindi, nag-expect ako nung other implementation like yung kay Penance. Eh. So, ito lang siya. So, draw one card. Yan, nag-ano siya sa skin niya. Ayun, okay din, no? Okay din. Madami siyang ano, ah. Madami siyang wild token. Okay, and then this is the last update for today. Maybe we can unlock, no? To be honest, parang ang bagal nung balaw nung campaign. Parang usually kasi pag may na-unlock na expansion, nagja-jump agad ng up to two. Diba? Parang within the first two hours ata or three hours after ma-release yung expansion. Nagja-jump agad ng two stretch goals, di ba? Although, baka kasi ang laki lang din nung, nung ano, buffer or yung agwat, no? Nung bawat, ano? Nung bawat uh, stretch goal or funding, no? So, yan. I-advertise ulit nila. And, ito, yan. 10K na lang pala. Ma-unlock na natin si US Agent. So, as you can see, 70K yung agwat. So, this is 1250k. Tapos, biglang pagdating dito, di ba? 70,000. 
If you reach uh, 1320k, you will unlock all buffer cell. Ito mo. So, may equipment siya, of course, yung shield niya. And anti-hero siya. So, tignan natin. As a hero daw, US agent is a ruthless one. He shows no mercy to civilian, discarding them in order to perform extra attack. He will even use the tag or civilian as a protection. <laughs> uh, discarding them to avoid damage. Okay. No... Not one to be uh, out of stage. No? US agent can move to the next location with any other heroes to fight them. So aggressive si US agent. No? As shown dun sa Falcon and Winter Soldier. Pero I think baka sa comics mas bad as yun. US agent can use his shield to either attack an adjacent location or defend his uh, location. Ayan, ang galing. So may ano siya, throw siya. shield throw or yun nga or pavilion turn pwede siya mag so ang weird nito na may gulong ba't kaya gulong yun nasa base nyo gulong yun nilagay nila so it's like he's on a battlefield din siguro and yeah uh, ah tignan natin so as a villain daw who still thinks he's a hero it's, ah, instead of using a master plan deck like other villains he plays his hero cards in the storyline okay moving and attacking in various ways according to the symbols at the bottom of those cards and even using the special effect on his card to attack and use civilian and tags to his advantage wait wait okay to ah pero yeah 18 cards lang siya guys oh. he only has 18 cards so Teka, may sobrang anim? May sobrang anim, no? So, saan kaya yung anim na yun? Even makes you use, yeah, making almost vulnerable to use unless the heroes use heroic action to turn it face down. New agent will keep attacking the heroes focusing on the weakest, using the justice system and government agents as threat to flood the location with tags and endangered civilians until his heroic plan no? <laughs> is complete or his stuff for good so yun okay so very ano po si US agent ito na naman sila no? note that US agent is part of the defenders team from the previously announced ito ta may siguro pag pinopost nila to no? may, may trauma na ng onte kasi guys dito Na, dito na nanggaling yung leak dito sa update na to nanggaling yung leak no? so yung most of the heroes and anti-heroes na ina-announce nila is uh, pwede nating makita na talaga so yan ito yan, ito yan so kasama siya sa defender so ang nangyari kasi guys meron sila nilagay na link dito na sabi ah uh, Threat cards ata. Ay, oo nga, no? Tama ka, Justin. Threat cards yung anin. So, talaga hero cards yung gagamitin niya. Medyo nakakalito yun. Eh. Pero siguro, syempre, nasa dashboard yung rules. Eh. Yan yeah, yung anin are threat cards. No? Ito, guys. Uh, nandito yun eh. So, sabi, you can check the link over here. <laughs> On this link, you can check this link for the updated roster daw. Hindi ko na siya pinansin kasi ang nakita ko lang ito, itong listahan. Like for example, I think ina-update nila to constantly. Let's look for the defenders. So, okay. Mukhang din nila in-update. Wala si US agent dito. Yeah, wala si US agent. So, yung link na yun, pagka-click mo nun, makikita mo na din yung... Yun nga, spoiler. Yung mga ibang uh, hero sa isang team. or sa isang expansion na hindi pa and yung mga unreleased na stretch goal pa ah, so unfortunately no, yung sa mga stretch goal nakita natin yung list ng mga SG characters kaso paano kung di maabot yung funding na yun so may mga mga upset din for sure na mga tao na yun nga bakit ganun 
di nasama. Sayang naman, hindi umabot sa funding, di tuloy nasama si Kanto, ganyan, di ba? So, medyo, ano to, medyo magulo tong campaign ngayon. No? <laughs> so, anyway, let's go with the uh, Marvel United crossover campaign. So, right now, yan, kay Killmonger tayo ngayon. So, we have Shuri. We will have Shuri and Okoye. So, bakit? Bakit meron tayo nito? So, if we go back dito sa campaign. So, right now, naka-chain si Shuri at si Okoye kay Killmonger. So, that means you have to play these two characters when fighting Killmonger. No? Tapos, pag natalo nyo na si Killmonger, ma-unlock na yung dalawang characters basically. So, yan. So, ito na yung mga natapos natin. And of course, magsisi Mr. Six na tayo kami. And super aga natin sa stream. So, maybe Baron Zemo. So, we can start our journey here. Or we, maybe we can even unlock their devil. Pero, uh, right now, I think, uh, focus muna tayo sa Sinister Six and si Baron Zemo. Tapos, if you want to vote, yan. Ito yung voting natin. So, if you want to vote which character you want yeah, to be played. So, currently, si Miles Morales no, nasa taas talaga. So, sige. Tignan natin later. Kung si Miles um, against no, sa Sinister Six mamaya. Isa siya. So, we will be playing for... Um, sa tingin niyo ba, okay yun? Sino nga ano, nandiyan? Dyan na ba si John Fred? So, do, do you think okay mag for heroes or uh, let's ano let's make it two so sige check natin eh pero later on na yun later on so killmonger muna tayo ngayon and yan nakaset up na siya dito so nakaset up na siya pero di ko pa na introduce sa inyo kung sino yung additional natin I think nakikita nyo na dito kung sino so, since Black Panther died, no? So, tinignan ko yung ability ni Killmonger. So, he distributes crisis token. And, yun. Parang ang pinaka make sense is Storm para sa akin. So, because she offer movement. And si Okoye kasi is mabagal. And si Shuri is mabagal din. And pinaka na, ano ko na pinaka malapit is si Storm. Ano ba? Di ba naging partner din ni Black Panther si Storm sa comics. So, uh, thematic na din in a way. Pero nagustuhan ko kasi kay Storm is yun yung mga punch in any location. Tapos yung relocate niya. Ito, meron siyang gadgets of weather. Yan. So, he can, she can relocate any hero to different location. Any hero, sa So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng heroes, pwede sabay-sabay. And pwede kahit saan nila gusto pumunta. So, that's really nice. And then, we have Okoye. So, if you notice si Okoye, yan. So, more on punching siya, pero less on movement. So, that's why ginamit si Storm. Dahil nga dun sa skill na niya yun, no? So, walang starting card si Storm. That's okay. Ay, tapos, ito si Shuri. Ayan, si Shuri naman, more on heroic siya, pero she has good uh, numbers of uh, wild tokens na has to move. Na. So, that's it. That's our, that's our heroes. And, saan kaya maganda mag-start? So, ano bang ano ni Killmongo? Teka, yung setup niya, yan. Nothing special sa setup. Uh, heroes lose when four or more locations have three or more crisis tokens. So, nagpupuno siya ng crisis tokens sa mga location. So, ang bam niya is deal one damage to each hero in Killmonger's location. Then, replace the leftmost uh, civilian or tag token if present with a crisis token. So, naglalagay siya dito. If one or more tokens can't be added to a location, replace the leftmost uh, and 
Yun, so pinupuno, pinupuno lang niya, no? Diba? Re Nire-replace, replace the left nose. Can I rescue pala? Okay, kill mover. Can I risk Can I remove crisis token using punch or heroic? Teka na ko. Check natin yung gold. I might use that. Baka na miss out ko yun. Pero itong shit lang naman itong gold book niya. So, meron dito yung endangered location. Eh. You must make sure it's under control during setup. Yeah, these are in... Uh, these are endangered location. So, yeah, walang sinabi dito. So, I think, yeah, uh, it's bound to happen naman na mapuno. So, I'm not sure nga lang, no? Replace the leftmost token there with a crisis token. So, so ayan, ganyan. Na, magre-replace siyang ganyan. So, ibig sabihin na pupuno yung location, no? I think that's the purpose of this. So, sana mas mapadali sa atin to. Kasi, very unexpected to. So, si Shuri, it's love muna siguro tayo. Sa so, Shuri, slab tayo. Kasi, onti yung tao dito. Tapos, try natin umito. Ikot tayo pa ganun. Actually, maganda din alisin to. Pero, anyway. Okay ba mag four characters later sa ano? Uh, Sinister 6. Okay, young genius, give give one more token from the pool to any hero. They may draw three cards until they have three on their hand. So, pwede mag-soak ng damage si Shuri. Teka, ilan ba movement ni Shuri? Siya lang yung dalawa lang mo. Kailangan natin si Storm dito. Si Storm kasi has a uh, uh, good amount of movement. Seven. So, siya yung una. Bago si Shuri. Okay. Ang dami. Nakuha na natin yung wilds. Ay! Teka lang. Hindi nyo pala kita. Ayan. Okay, much better. Teka, accomplish strategies, reveal the top card of your deck. You may put it at the bottom of your deck. Okay. So, kailangan natin dito ng heroic tokens. So, for sure, si Shuri yung una. Uh, 
Pero siyempre si Killmonger muna. So, let's see. Hey, Levy. Hi, Levy. Wala sa FB, yes. Uh, inano ko muna kasi baka na uh, i-spam masyado yung uh, ano natin. Ang tawag doon? Yung page, no? Puro schedule blade na lang yun nandun. So, eh, I'll be announcing some pre-order soon. So, inalis ko na lang muna. Nag-share na lang ako nung link nung sa Facebook para ano. And, but parang ang pangit pala nung ano natin. Parang ang labo nung camera. Kung mayroon pala napansin dun. Kala ko. Parang ang labo pala nung cam natin. Pero sa end point din naman. Anyway, baka sa monitor ko lang. Baka nga sa monitor ko lang. Ah, yeah, sa monitor ko lang pala. Sorry. So, okay. Killmonger, first action. So, wish me luck, guys. Sana di mamatay si Storm. Grabe ba magad. one and then bam ang bam niya is deal one damage to a hero then replace the leftmost the crisis token and then spawn and take the dalawa so mukhang dito nga tayo pupunta pero it's really bound to happen sana hindi siya mag move ng one lang ulit kasi pinununan niya to Okay. Tayo na. I think si Shuri yung best uh, action natin. So, yan. May young genius siya ulit. Na-draw na natin. Um, in-expect ko wag muna sana. Pero, anyway. Let's do this one. Tapos si Okoye na. Okay. Um, pwede siya mag move eh pero sige ito na ang gawin natin or this one sige ito na lang uh, let's play the two wilds so I will rescue this one tapos tapusin na natin to ano ba end nito Ah, heal. So, yung kay Shuri's love is you may draw cards until you have three. So, heal lang siya. So, meron pa siyang dalawang wild. So, gawin natin is move siya dito. And then, yeah, rescue tayo. Then, si Storm na. Storm has movement. Yeah, I think this one will be useful kay Shuri. So, move lang tayo guys. Move. So, Storm will move. Tapos meron siyang dalawang... May dalawa siyang action. Siguro... Um... Hindi ko alam kung mapifinish na natin ito. Ay, sige. Sige, isa na lang. Ito. Isang rescue. So, more on heroic ang ginawa natin kay Storm. Thematic yung three heroes, no? ba diba? Strong Wakandans. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, buti na lang. Sige. So, nag-bump siya. Which means, i-replace -re daw natin to. Tapos, nag-deploy siya ng dalawa dito. So, kailangan na natin habulin to guys. Ipupuno na niya. 
Maybe eh yung mabilis maglakad si Kyle Mulder. No? Mabilis siya umipot sa board. So, puro... So, si Shuri na, meron siyang move. Meron din siyang move ulit. Puro ito na lang. Uh, she can do move and heroic dito. Tapos si Okoye na. May move and attack siya. May heroic din. So she can finish this off. Sige. Let's finish this. So, um, heroic. Tapos mag ano tayo, move and attack. Natakayin natin ito. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! This requires two. So this requires two attack. Two attack pala siya. So... Yan. May end... Ano siya? Ma, uh, may mercenary siya. No? So... Pwede akong mag ano na lang dito. Rescue na lang ulit. Sorry, 2 damage pala required dito. 2 damage. So, no pwede. No pwede. So, ano na lang. Then, may ro Royal Palace. You may search your deck for any one card. And then shuffle it and uh, place that card on top. Wait lang. So, ito rin yung end of turn. Pero, accomplished strategies nga gawin natin. So, Dora Melody. And you, uh, until the beginning of your next turn, if another hero in your location takes damage, you can take that damage instead. Uh, mukhang di pa naman tayo magte-take ng damage. So, hanap tayo ng... Mas maganda. Parang, ako oh, konti. 1, 2, 3. 12. Parang pangit ng skill ni... <laughs> so, ito na lang. Gamitin natin yung location. So, nag-search ako din. Parang pangit ng... Wala, well, wala tayong choice kay Okoye. Kailangan natin laruin siya. So, si Storm na. She can definitely move. move tapos pwedeng dalawang heroic eh ito din natin alam saan siya pupunta pag dito pumunta yan tatlong overflow yan so sabi dito replace the leftmost location ah. sige dalawang heroic na lang dito tapos si killmonger na Move clockwise to the next location with any heroes. So, ito na yun. And then, do well. Deal 2 damage to one hero in Killmonger's location. So, for sure, si Orm na yun. Okay, magagamit natin yung genius natin. So, si Shishuri na. So yeah, definitely we're going to use yung Young Genius. So give one wild token from the pool to the eh, to any hero. Then they may draw cards until they have three. So sakto-sakto, kill na natin siya. So mag-earn siya nito. Tapos si Storm will kill. Yan, yung relocate. Meron na tayo relocate. So, I can move na din. Yeah. Move. Tapos, ano natin? Kapusin natin to. Yan. Si Okoye na. Uh, kailangan natin to move and punch. 
So, pwede natin tapusin din ito. So, she can move. And then yung wild token, let's use it to finish this off. So, tapos na yan. So, we can punch. No? And we can punch as tags already. Yan. Tapos, sa end of turn ko daw, sa warrior's fall, I can punch ulit. In this location, so nice. So, si Storm na. We can go here actually. Let's clear natin ito onti onti ito. So, tama si Storm na. Uh, punch in any location. Mamaya na siguro yan. I think we can do the two moves, no? Ito, two moves. mag e end ng location dito pero okay lang yun I think so two move and a punch so one two tapos punch and then meron akong wild pwede rin ako mag rescue pa pero siguro wag muna and then pwede akong relocate any heroes no kahit ilang hero so Siguro Siguro lagay natin si Shuri dito Tapos Eto si Okoye dito So ang maganda dito Heroes ending their turn in this location Take 1 damage Ang maganda dito pumunta si Okoye Hindi naman siya nag end ng turn Si uh, Si Storm yung nag end ng turn Which is dito Ang threat kasi na to is Heroes ending their turn in this location take 1 damage. So, si Storm lang, no? Si Storm lang yung magte-take ng 1 damage. Hopefully, di siya mamatay. No? Um, oh, si Killmonger, no? 4! Grabe naman, 4! 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, and then, bam. So, magbabam siya. Deal 1 damage daw. Siguro ito na lang. Oh, ito na lang. Hindi pa natin kailangan. Deal 1 damage and then replace. So, replace natin ito. And then, ito overflow. Ito overflow din. Ang mga yari, ganun din. Replace na. Tapos ito mayroon din pala isa. So nag-overflow itong dalawa, tapos ito hindi pa. So si Shuri na, mukhang magyayang genius siya ulit. So umiikot yung cards ni... Yeah, yung genius na lang ulit tayo. Para mahil si Storm. So, meron siyang move. Move. And... Heroic. Yeah, heroic na siguro. Tapos, bigyan natin si Storm nito. Ulit. Dalawang wild and Yan Si draw another 3 cards So si Okoye na Mamababawasan din si Okoye this turn 2 damage to adjacent location Di natin kailangan Grabe Sabi dito, if hero 
lose when four or more location have three. Okay. I can rescue. Yeah, rescue na lang. Tapos nag-end yung turn niya dyan, so mababawasan siya. Card natin to. Medyo mahirap si Killmonger. Then si Storm na. Can I locate any other heroes? Pwede. That's the case. Gamitin na lang natin to. Gamitin natin to. So, meron akong punch and dalawang heroic. So, yung dalawa kong heroic, lalagay ko na dito. So, accelerated na si Killmonger. I, I mean, yung heroic and isang wild, no? Ilagay ko na dito. So, accelerated na siya. So, pero meron kasi akong dalawa pang wild. Ito, yung dalawang to na nag natin. So, what we can do is use this to gain, I to rescue another one. So, yan. Rescue na yung civilians natin. Tapos, ah, 9 HP pala siya. Punap din niya, 9 HP siya. 3, 3. Nine. Three, six, nine. Yeah. Grabe ah, 9 HP siya. So okay, meron pa tayo isang punch and isang wild. So sige, untukay na natin to. So we damage him for two. Tapos yun ah. Tapos sabi dito, end of turn, I can gain a wild so yeah nice so si killmonger na ulit okay he'll move for 5 tapos walang bam pero ang dami niya so 1 2 3 4 5 so this one will overflow so overflow to replace this one overflows then replace and this one overflows as well so replace din to so ilan ang location so may isang location na mer na merong 3 so yan papalapit na ang tapusan no So, accelerated na siya. This means, last action, kasi mamaya pa rin turn ni Storm. So, si, oh, si Shuri muna. So, merong heroic and punch no, dito. Kaso, kailangan natin ng movement para masuntok si Killmonger. So, dalawang heroic. Walang sense yung dalawang heroic, no? Actually, kay, kay Okoye din, walang sense. So, ito na lang. So, meron tayo heroic dito. So, gagawin na lang natin kay Shuri is mag-move siya dito, then heroic. Tapos punch, isa. Tapos si Okoye na. So, may movement siya. So, si Okoye meron siya nitong Dora Malaji. Hindi na lang natin kailangan niya. So kay Okoye gamitin natin to. Meron siyang 2 punch to an adjacent location. It is nice. So ang gagawin lang natin sa kanya is move. Tapos punch natin to. Then, yung dalawa, uh, punch to an adjacent location kay Killmonger. So, 
Yan. Ano na lang siya guys. 4 HP. Pero turn na niya. Zero. Grabe. He moves for... He, he moves. For zero cost. No? Zero cost. And then bam. So one damage kay Shuri. Tapos daw. Then replace the leftmost token. A present. No? So since wala na. Walang ilalagay. Pero this one will overflow ulit. Overflow to. Overflow din to. And definitely this one overflow as well. Okay, dalawang location na. Sige, tingnan natin. At si Shuri at si Storm na yung next eh. So si Shuri makaka-attack dito for sure. So, ito na lang gawin natin. Patay na guys. Okay, tapos na. Uh, Mag-draw draw pa na. Draw muna si Storm. Okay, wala na. Ito na talaga. Ito na yung best option natin. So, let's play this two wild. Finally, malalaro na natin siya. So, ang action ni Storm is, meron siyang isa pang token. Actually, meron ding token si Pakoye kasi nag-end siya ng turn dito. So, yan. Just in case lang. So, meron siyang 2 wilds and a punch. So, yung isang wild niya, pumunta siya dito. Tapos, yung isang wild is magpa-punch. Tapos, yung punch token, ipang pa-punch niya ulit. So, 2 HP na lang. Eh, tapos, yun, meron pa siyang wild token. So, may wild token pa si Storm, punch na din. So, yan, 1 HP. And you know, si Shuri ang tatapos kay Killmongo. Yan, okay. Diba? Wild, four wilds pa. Grabe. So yan, wilds na natin lahat. So, four wilds. Wala na. So, since four wilds yan, um, ano na lang natin to? Boom. Tapusin na natin to. <laughs> so, tatlong wild dito. Wala lang, just because, di ba? Nilikpitin na din na. Tapos yung isang wild, punch tayo dito. And that's it. Apis. Patay na si Killmonger. Si Mr. Six na. <laughs> so, KO. Si Killmonger. So, yeah. So far, ito. Itong dalawa na to, napuno. So, kaya pa naman ang dalawa. Kaso, Let's see ah, if we draw more. Yeah, gagalaw siya for 2. So, gagalaw pa siya dito. Which is, wala naman na. Di rin mag-overflow to. Ito, overflow na talaga. So, wala na magagawa. So, anyway. Medyo na-control natin. Actually, maganda yung kay Shuri. Kasi, nasulit natin yung young genius niya. Uh, na-heal natin ang dalawang beses si Storm, no? which is nagro-rotate yung hero deck niya, so okay din halos nagro-rotate ng dalawang beses so, yun naman full rotation, but yun, al alam nyo yun na, na ano natin, na-explore natin yung deck ni Storm so anyway, that's it so that's Killmonger, so tali natin yung score natin Ay, sorry. Yan. So, yan yung ability ni Storm. Mo. More on movement siya. So, si Shuri nakakagalaw din. No? During that time. Okay. So, Killmonger is defeated. So, I think may mga ma-unlock tayo. Yeah. So, we unlock some stuff. Tapos, uh, First win tayo kay Okoye and Shuri. So, finally, eto, meron na talaga tayo. Pwede na natin sila laruin. Pero right now, uh, si Storm, first victory pala natin kay Storm. Nice. Um, ano makukuha natin kay Storm pag nanalo? Is it movement token? Wait lang ah. <coughs> Check natin. Uh, first win with Storm. We get a movement token. So, I think mag add naman to. Ata. Baka yung formula lang, no? Pero, dapat may movement token tayo dito. 
saya nak tengah tu you know Yeah, I think the storm is well up now. Ah, ito na pa natin. Kaya natin kung nagdagdag. Formula ni Justin to yun. Ay, wala nga. So, pwede ko pa edit lang dito. Just be, tanya natin na. Oh. Storm, you get the move. Tama ba yun? So, di ko alam kung tama yung tara lang. Check, check natin mo. Counter hero first A to 16 and and is true. Ano ba yung ano natin dito? Formula natin. 16. Ah, nasa 17 kasi ito. No. Sige, correct na natin mamaya Pero, yun, we earned 2 So, pwede natin magamit kasi mamaya yan Kay, tama ba? First win si Storm Yeah, 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 first win So, nanato tayo kay Storm Ah, yun pala, dumadagdag Ano nangyari kanina? Teka, so, dumadagdag na pala dyan Pero nanalo pa ba tayo? I think meron meron, na, meron pa tayong nakuha kasing movement action, I think. Nag-add na pala no? automatic pala 'yan ng guys. Wait lang ha. Oh yo, si Iceman, 'di ba? We get one from Iceman. Tapos we will get one kay Storm. Pero paano ba yung Ito ba yung paano niya? Hindi, hindi ito yung formula niya Paano ba malaman po ano? Well, anyway, ano-ano uh, pa lang naman to So, let's Ano na lang yan to? So, we have to Kasi guys, mag- Si Sinister 6 na tayo. Kailangan natin yung mga resources na meron tayo. Like for example, we can unlock this for Sinister 6. Ayan, pwede natin unlock yung mga resources. Ito, yung Heroic. Pwede natin unlock yung Heroic. Okay, Black Panther. And also, pwede natin din unlock to. Diba? So, let's see kung ano yung mga pwede natin unlock ngayon. So, we're going to see Mr. Six na. And, tignan natin yung boats pala. No? Ayan. Tignan natin kung na-update siya. So, si Miles talaga. Yung top. So, review natin mamaya to. So, si, si Miles talaga yung nasa pinaka-top ng list. So, yeah. As pili natin tayo ng tatlo dito. So not sure if we can play this no ng tatlo. Ay ng apat no. I think mas okay kung apat. So sige, let's check. Um Let's check this. So dito kay Iceman, kuya, yeah, kukunin na natin yan. Pero yung mga pwede natin i-unlock. Hinahanap ko yung mga pwede i-unlock. Eh. 
So, kasi gagamitin natin, I want to use them on yun. Okay, this one. Meron dito. Pero, hindi. Crawl out tayo simula sa gitna. Simula dito. Saka tayo mag-expand, no? Ayan na. Meron din kasi dito. Sayang nga ito. Too wild, so. So, um, expand tayo dito. Simula tayo dito. So, ano yung mga resources? Ito. Okay, spider woman, we can use brain to unlock one punch. So, let's do that. Spend. So, dalawa na to. So, unlock. Ayan. So, tama, no? May tatlong punch na available. So, that's one. Saan galing yung mga punches na yun? That's, this is two. And then, three. Ayan nga, tama. May tatlo nga. So, sige. Uh, tapos, we can spend a gear to unlock yung heroic. Kailangan, gusto ko na talagang gamitin as much as possible. You can spend a gear to unlock. Actually, ito na lang natin to para di ako malito. You can spend a gear to unlock one. Pero wait, so... So, nagawa na natin yun. Okay na to. Tapos, eto, spend time ng brain to unlock one. Attack and move. So, sige. Yan. Gamitin natin. Gagamitin natin lahat to. So... Saan pa ba? Dito. Dito, ito na lang eh. So, we can use one gear to unlock an attack. So, six. We spend a gear again. Yan. Pwede tayo mag-spend ulit ng gear to unlock a move. Okay. Dami natin token so. 12 tokens yan. Pag to, nakakalo pa tayo talaga. So, ayun. I think okay nga, no? Na-unlock natin lahat ng available. Yeah. Lahat ng possible um, unlockable, no? Kung may na-miss out ako, let me know. Pero I think na-unlock na natin lahat. This one, yeah. Yep. Everything was unlocked. Ito pwede rin. Unlock natin. Kaso tatlong brain. Sa kaso sayang. Oh. Kasi 1, 2, 3. Pwede naman. Kaso sayang. Oh. If in-unlock natin si Colossus and Kitty Pride, makakuha tayo ng uh, heroic. Pero hindi na siguro. Okay na tayo dyan. By the way, what's the effect of danger room ba? Sorry. Ano ba yung danger room? Kasi... Pwede ba natin gamitin yung danger room? When you gain access to the danger room, circle it during setup to any battle, cross up a, sink, a circle danger room box to add the danger room to your starting location. Use this tool for the danger room for the, from the first class rule book mo which is nasaan? nasa babang baba kailangan ko pang hukayin dun sa babang baba ng shelf so hindi muna sige wag muna tayo mag danger room isip ko ba pwede tayo mag unlock so anyway yan uh, check natin update tayo dito so magse set up muna ako guys 
Tingnan natin, baka ma-unlock. So, uh, so, wala. Less likely, 7k. Maka 7k ba tayo after ng ano? So, anyway, yan. Uh, be right back, guys. Update ko lang din to. Mamarkahan ko muna yung mga na-unlock natin. Tapos, um, yeah, continue tayo later. So, pagkabalik ko dito, nakaset up na yung Sinister Six. So, we have a sale again. So, yung mga accessories, so yung mga naghanap ng playmat, may nagtatanong sa akin. So, you can use the playmat, no? Or, or you can get the playmat for the discounted price. So, ilalagay ko na yung discount code sa website after this, no? So, be right back. Be right back.
all right we're back guys and yan uh, return of sister 6 and yun na nga hindi pala kita to hindi nyo pala kita yung nandito ulang pala yan teka hindi nyo nga kita so we need to expand natin ng onte okay Sorry guys kung nakakahilo I mean just I adjust ko lang sa akin yeah. So para kita nyo din yung Okay So Okay Nice So ipantay ko ba? Igigit na ko ba? Baka na OC kayo Kasi hindi, hindi kasi yung master plan guys eh Pag Okay, get na natin. I'll try my best para i na natin ito. So, yung mga special effect, explain ko na lang. So, nakakuha ako sa internet. So, basically, binigay ni Justin actually. So, kung ano may nakasulat dito, actually, importante lang naman yun nandito. Pero, we actually have, teka lang. Okay, pausin ko lang konti. Ayan. So, yun. As you can see, chinect ko quickly yung rulebook. Pero, we're good naman, we're good. So, if check nyo to, yan. Ito fan made siya, guys. So, so community made siya. Kaysa nga, tignan natin kung paikot na to, babasahin ko pa ba pag ganun yan. So, kaysa gawin natin yun. Um, ito na. Sorry, sorry. Yan. Ito na lang, ba? Diba? Uh, so, we have this one. So, ito yung mga effect nila. Special rules. Villains begin under pressure. Each villain turn can only be... Yeah. Yada, yada. Meron na yan. Uh, special rule. Uh, ang special rule niya? When a hero... Ayun. So, yung pinaka-special rule niya is when a hero is KO, no bomb effect, it is activated. Instead, add one master plan card face down. So, nauubos yung yung cards natin allocations uh, end of turn effect may not be used pag mayroong villains dun sa location na yun so hinaharangan nila and then yung overflow effect ganun din pag nag overflow um, uh, ano tawag doon uh, master plan ulit no? dire diretso yung play so yan so, medyo kita nyo na yung mga gamit ko dito pero okay lang yun ah uh, Let's check pala yung votes, no? So, ito yung final vote. So, mukhang lalaroin talaga natin si Miles. So, show count and then sort. So, automatic, no? Si Miles nakasama na sa roster. Then, let's pull out Spider Woman, Ghost Spider, Captain America, and Adam Warlock. Okay. Pull out natin yung cards nila. So, Basically, we will be playing against. Ah, uh, we will be playing with four, four heroes this time, no? So, tignan natin. Tignan natin paano sila magpo-combo with each other. So, dito sa game na to, I'm using all the sinister, ay, sinister, uh, spider burst location. Ang gamit ko. So, sana sana manalo tayo dito. Okay. So, ito yung alarming kay ano. Two movement lang siya. So, so, if you remember yung stream ata natin yesterday, kinombo natin siya kay Quicksilver. So, ang bilis na talaga. Diba? Pero, I think I want to play Adam Warlock. Siguro Adam Warlock is good Hindi ko alam kung mag Spider Woman at ano ano ko no? Spider Woman and Spider Gwen ba? Diba? Spider Woman has ay, Spider Gwen has 6 
heroic kaso mahina yung damage niya Captain America good yung leadership niya kaso ewan ko lang siguro remove na natin si Captain America so 3 Spider-Man plus uh, Adam Warlock na lang siguro and Yeah, balik tayo dito, quickly. Try natin kunin to. Ubusin ko to guys. Ubusin ko yung resources natin. So we will get two heroic. And so two heroic. Four move. Ah, pwede natin bigay kay Miles to move, no? Four move tokens. And then five attack. Yan yung may mga mahihinang attack, no? Ubusin natin to. Ubusin ko na to. I'm desperate to finish this. So, and then one wild. So, one wild. Uh, the thing is, uh, itong setup na to. Yan. Yan, ito. Itong mga available resources natin from that we get during the campaign. No? Sa campaign map. We unlock it earlier then kung nakita nyo. Um, kailangan natin i-distribute na to bago mag-start yung game hindi siya yung just a token pool na pwede nating kuhaan dahil uh, advantageous sa shot in that turn hindi siya ganun so kailangan nating i-plan ahead no kung kanino natin ibibigay itong mga tokens na to so yeah let's plan ahead uh, I think Four miles. Ang pwedeng magkakasunod dyan is miles um, Spider-Gwen Miles, Spider-Gwen, Adam Warlock and Spider-Woman. So sige, si Miles muna. Miles Morales. Okay, tita naman, no? Dapat. Dapat kita nyo na. Kasi ang lawak na nyan. Tapos si Spider Gwen. Then si Adam Warnock. Lastly is Yan, apat uh, So, si Spider Woman So, sige uh, Tignan natin ah. So, since less yung movement ni Pinaka onting movement sa atin is si Miles Tapos kasunod ng Isa, si Adam Warlock So, siguro I'll be giving Miles 3 movement Tapos Isang movement kay Adam Warlock and then, yung pinaka onting punch natin is si Spider Gwen, actually. So, let's give her 3. Tapos kay Adam Warlock yung dalawa. Yan. In terms of heroic, pinaka onte is si Adam Warlock and Spider Woman. So, tag-isa sila dito. And lastly, um, itong wild token, no? So, I think while token, we can give it to Spider-Woman na lang. Yan. Okay. So, sana di tayo maguluhan kung kanino yung mga tokens na yan. Actually, alternate natin. So, dito kay Spider-Gwen, kay Adam Warlock dito, then kay Spider-Woman dito. Actually, maliit ng space niya. Yan. Okay. Yan. Very nice. So, okay guys, start na tayo. Tignan natin kung anong mangyayari sa atin today. 
So, sige. Uh, first things first. Ano kaya yung pwede natin gawin? So, gagamitin ko na lang ito to randomize yung location ng Sinister 6. So, um, I think ang magandang starting location. Siguro sa ano tayo. Gusto ko pumunta sa daily view gali eh, kasi pwede natin maano yung master plan. Pero siguro dito na lang tayo. I might plan to split up yung team, no? So dito tayo. Tapos pag draw, draw lang ako, yung first two na nasa ano ng Sinister 6 sa taas is ilalagay ko dito sa tapat, no? So yung first two, which is si Craven and Vulture, yan dito sila. Tapos dito naman, sa Oscorp Tower, tingnan natin. Uh, si Electro. Ay, teka, nasa si Electro? Ito pala. Nakala ko nawala. Si Electro, tsaka si Dr. Octopus. Tapos next is si Sandman. At tsaka si Mysterio. Actually, di ko na dapat drill. So, shuffle lang ulit natin. So, Electro is medyo malayo. That's good. So, let's see sino yung pwedeng mauna. So, we gain punch tokens here. Actually, kailangan lang natin sila puntahan eh. No? So, um, ang weak spot ni uh, Sandman is actually, ang weak Pat niya is 4 Ay, 4 tuloy uh, A heroic movement And punch So, pwede natin ito launahin Si Mysterio naman is heroic and punch testing Teka lang ha, tignan natin kung pwede natin sila puntahan Siguro si Miles yung mauuna Unahin natin si Mal. So, nilalagyan ko na ng HP guys itong mga kalaban natin. Pero I think mamaya na. Si ano na lang lagyan natin muna. Yan. Pwede natin lagyan si uh, yun ito? Si Sandman. Kasi si Sandman nadadagdagan yung HP niya. Okay. Sila yung first turn. So, tignan natin. I-pull out ko lang yung villain, ano. Kasi mga bump effect nila guys, ang hirap basahin. Kailangan ko gumanong ganun, so. Sana we win this one. Okay. Hindi. Hindi square layout. Ako lang yung square layout. Ito, uh, <laughs> binabasa ko dito. Hindi ko siya print eh. Ewan ko, gusto ko gusto ko pa rin gamitin yung layout nung ano, <laughs> na Sinister Six. <laughs> so, ayan, nasa akin lang. Nasa akin lang yung square layout. Ako lang nakakakita. So, yan. Tapos, ito yung nasa inyo. Um, so, basically, gamit pa rin natin yung components ng original game. So anyway, sige, si Miles na unahin natin dito, no, sa turn na to. Let's go for Miles. Wait lang. Yan. Okay. So, Sinister Six. Sila pa rin yung unang gagalaw, di ba? Tama ba? Sila pa rin? Dylan can only take damage once. Okay, sige. Uh, sila pa rin. Alam ko sila pa rin. Set up. Yeah, they still... Uh, hmm. Yeah. Normal turn. Craven and Electro. So, first magmumug si Craven. So, paita isa tayo, guys. So, ganito itsura ng layout. So, since buhay pa si Craven at Electro, sila yung first two. Laging yung first two lang na nasa ano yung mag... Uh, activate mo. So, yan. 
So, the way you read it is si Craven muna, tapos gagawin niya lahat to. So, gagawin niya. So, since si Craven yung una, gagawin niya two move, bam, and then uh, itong na- nauuna, yung which is number one, which is number one. Tapos si Electro naman yung sunod, two move, bam, and then ito yung gagawin niya, yung number two, which is civilian. No? So, let's do that. Sige. So, Craven muna, one, two. Ayun, pwede natin siya unahin, no? So, 1, 2, and then BAM. Ang BAM effect niya is, deal to damage to the first hero, lone hero, no? The first lone hero, since magkakasama pa, okay lang. Tapos, uh, Craven, kung wala daw, lone hero, Craven puts 2 characters, uh, 2 um, civilian, no? And then, And then, magde-deploy na siya. So, maglalagay siya ng isang... Grabe naman to. Maglalagay siya isang tab dito. Since overflow, we have to play one master plan card face down. So, naisan agad tayo. Tapos, si Electro na. Ganun din, si Electro. One, two. So, yan. Taplo na sila dito. Me and the boys. Me and the boys. Tapos... Uh, si Electro, ang special effect niya, ang bomb effect niya is deal 1 damage to each hero in both adjacent to Electro. Ibig sabihin ko, kuryente niya yung katabi niya. Dalawang location na katabi niya. Parang mag-blablas siya. Di ba? Blablas siya pa, palayo. So, maganda siya kasama mo siya sa location. And then, you will put 1 civilian dito. And that's it, no? Okay. Sino pwede natin unahin ngayon? Teka, pwede na ba natin patayin si... Uh, I think pwede na We can start off with Ano agad Plano ko si Craven and Sandman eh. Tapos pwede na maglayo-layo Baliw-baliw itong mga to So Yeah we can start with Miles Siguro Or not Actually, kay, kay Spider Gwen tayo mag-start. Ang pangit pala ni Ghost Spider kasi yung isang ability niya is swap two threat cards in play which is very useless sa atin. So, ito yung na-draw niya. And he will play this one. So, he will play this move and heroic. So, mag-move siya. And then, heroic natin, which is dito, kay Craven. Tapos, may punch token siya. Yan, gamitin natin yung mga available resource natin. I think, uh, because of the campaign, much easier siya. No? Pwede tayo mag-prepare. Much easier, eh, no? Famous last words. Um, and that's it. That's her turn. Tapos, si Adam Warlock na. Okay, may dalawang move kay Adam Warlock. Tapos, ano na agad, guys? Kalaban na agad. Uh, I mean, uh, turn agad ng villains, no? She can definitely use this para may rescue din. Sige. So, he can pala. He can definitely. So, may dalaw siyang heroic, isang punch, isang move. So, Adam Warlock will move and then, the, and then do one heroic here. So, ma-unlock na natin yung weakness ni Craven. And he got 4 HP, no? 4 HP for 4 players. So, may heroic and punch pa tayo. So, what I can do is punch na natin siya ng isa. And let's punch this guy. And then rescue isa. Yeah, rescue tayo isa. And that's it. So, no end of turn effect kasi hinaharangan ni Vulture. Sabi ni John Fred, wow, ang daming tokens. Yes. So, yung kanina during the ano yan, commercial tayo dito bago yung villain's turn. So, bago yung uh, mission, no, nag-unlock ako ng bunch of resources. Yan. Nag-unlock ako. Then, ginamit ko sila lahat. So, basically, I unlock Yan, most, most no available na resources na pwede natin makuha. Like this one, yeah, I unlock this one using a brain icon. Tapos, yun, yung mga, eto, mga resources na nagamit natin. So, basically, ubus na sila ngayon. 
Okay, ubus na sila. So Yan. Okay, so every two turns so uh bila naman. Okay, this time Dr. Octopus and then si Vulture no so ang pinaka nakakainis. Okay, ang effect ni um Doc Ock is teka lang, magmo-move muna siya. For two, ayan, magkasama na sila dito. One, two. Dami nila dito guys. Oh. Tapos magbabam siya. Ang bam effect niya is place one crisis token in Dr. Octopus location and then deal one damage to each hero on all location na may crisis token. Oh. So, basically, tinag na ni Dr. Octopus kung daily bugle na uh, ano na siya, meron na siyang uh, crisis, no? So, parang may access na yung tentacles niya dito sa lugar na to and when he attacks kaya niya maano yung characters so next maglalagay siya dito ng isa then si Vulture na for 2 movement 1, 2 magbabam siya ito na naman si ating kaibigan na Vulture ang bam ni Vulture is ang ginagawa niya if there are any civilian or tag tokens in Vulture's location move all of them to his dashboard yan kinikidnap niya to guys Ayan, pupunta siya dito sa dashboard niya. So, mapupuno ito. Ayan. So, no damage dealt sa atin. Ganun lang siya. And then, magde-deploy siya ng isang civilian. Okay. So, pwede ba natin unahin itong mga to? Siguro. Pwede natin sila unahin as long as um... Kaya nating panindigan si Sandman mamaya. <laughs> so, yun yung challenge natin. So, si Spider Woman. So, si Spider Woman, meron siyang Heroic and Wild Token. Tignan natin yung weakness ni... 2 HP na lang si Kraven. So, we can definitely kill him. Tapos, kailangan ng dalawang movement kay Vulture, no? So, I think we can just use this one. So, gamitin na lang natin to Move and Heroic. Ay! Teka lang. May Heroic na pala. Uh, attack na lang. Let's attack. Attack and Heroic. Ay! Attack and Move. No. So... Yeah, Spider-Woman will move here. Tapos... Yung 2 attack, send natin kay Craven. So, 2 attack na siya. Actually, buhay pa pala siya. Yeah, buhay pa pala siya. May isa pa siyang HP. Tapos, may heroic tayo. Uh, bigay natin kay Vulture. For his weakness. Tapos, I think that's it, no? Kahit di muna tayo mag-spend ng resources kasi pwede na magpatay ni Miles si Raven. ba? So, okay. Teka, yung web ni Miles, delay ba lahat ng... Delay, ba? Tama ba? Sa... Kay Miles Morales and Sinister Six. Ide-delay niya ba yung action, yung card lang? Ay, hindi. Delay the next villain turn lang pala. Delay the next villain turn. Ide-delay lang pala natin. Hindi siya yung... Sorry. Hindi siya yung parang yeah, ano natin. Ide-delay lang. So, si Miles na. And may two wild siya. Pero pwede natin i-delay yung villain turn. He got two wilds, tapos pwede natin i-delay yung villain turn. Mapapatay natin yung dalawa, I think. So, I will delay the next villain turn. Yan. So, makaka-action pa si Gwen. Si Spider Gwen. And, so, sige, gamitin natin. So, Spider Woman, I see Miles will move here. 
Tapos, gagamitin niya yung last punch action niya to defeat uh, Craven. So, lagay natin dito para indicator na dito siya. Na dito natin siya na-KO. So, patay na siya. So, tag natin yan. Dead na siya. Dead. Tapos, um, meron siyang special action pa. I mean, ano tawag dyan? Uh, wild action. Siguro, ang gagawin ko, ito. Um, dalawang movement. Ilalagay natin dito to discover his weak spot. No? Para ang lakas nga, no? kung may token ka. So, discover na yung weak spot niya. Pero, may mga tao siyang kasama dito ngayon. So, since meron pa tayong isang wild action, let's use it, no? Gamitin na natin. So, gamitin natin to damage him para ma-drop yung hostages niya. So, ma-drop ko dito sa location. Yan. Para ma-atake siya ni Spider Gwen this turn, which... I think pwede niya ring mapatay, no? So, let's do that. So, na-delay to. And si Spider Woman, na. Okay. For sure, ito gagamitin natin. This one. So, may move action, no? So, may move action tayo. Actually, do we need the move action? Actually, baka di na natin need yung move muna. For now, ah. Di natin need. So, eto na lang. So, I got two here. So, isang wild, isang attack. Tapos, meron pa ako ditong dalawa, which is from the resource. So, sana worth it, no? Para mapatay natin si Vulture. So, Vulture is dead. Dito din sa location na to. So, that's for attack. No? Sana hindi tayo marandang. Sayang yung resources na ginamit natin for this game. Uh, tapos, sa end ng turn, pag nag-end ng turn ka sa uh, Osborne Lab ba to? Osborne Lab. You gain one attack token. So, yan. And then, yan na. Turn na ng... Uh, so, this time, since patay na si... Uh, si Craven, nagagalaw si Doc Ock and si Electro. Which is, I think, safe tayo. First is si Doc Ock. He will move for two. One, two. And then, he will bomb. So, maglalagay siya ng... So, basically, kung may tao din dito, madadamage yung taong yun. Or yung hero na yun. And then he add one. Tapos sa electro naman, he'll move for one, two din. And then magbabam siya. Which is na kuryente tayo lahat dito. So, ang nangyari doon is... Um, yeah, kuryente. E di bawas tayo lahat. So, ito kay Ghost Spider. Lagay ko na to dito. Yung kay Miles, iniisip ko, baka ito na lang din. Kay Adam Warlock, this one. And then, kay Spider Woman, ito. So, that's it. Tapos maglalagay pa siya na tao dito. So, okay. Habang di pa gumagalaw si Sandman, no? Pwede na nating unahin. So, attack, heroic, and so, si Adam Warlock. No? I think Adam Warlock can handle him already.
Hmm. Pero niisip ko ano yung gagamitin ko eh. Siguro ito na lang. So, let's use this. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron akong dalawang punch at isang heroic. So, wala akong movement, no? Pero, we can use itong resource niya to move. So, let's move here. Kay Adam Wala. Actually, kailangan natin isunod is si... I think si Dr. Octopus, no? Kasi bibili siya, eh. So, I have two punch and heroic. Itang punch, lagay natin dito. Yung heroic. Dito. And then, yung isang punch, kay ano na lang. Dito kay Mysterio. Just in case na. Actually, we can put the other one kay Mysterio na dun. Ano? Ah, okay. Siguro need niya natin. Sige. So, pag gumalaw si Sandman, GG na na. GG na talaga tayo. So, si Spider-Woman, ha? Delay the next villain turn by one card. Okay, pwede ako mag-delay ng next villain turn. Kaso, hindi natin... Kailangan ko mag-move eh. So, pwede natin patayin si Mysterio na lang muna. Kaso, mas gusto ko kasi si ano. Sige, unlock na natin yung weak spot nila. So, I have two heroic, one punch, and one move. So, mag-move si Spider-Woman dito. Tapos... Uh, gamitin niya itong wild niya to expose si um, Sandman. So, meron siyang 4 HP. Sana na-allocate natin ang tama yung ano. Then, meron pa akong dalawang, ay, sorry. O, oh, tama, dalawang heroic niya. And isang punch. So, yung punch, punch na natin si Sandman. Tapos, yung isang heroic dito. Okay. Dito kay, ano, pinatawag dito. Kay Mysterio. Tapos, meron pa ako isang rescue. So, rescue na din natin yung tao dito. Ayan. So, there's that. Pwedeng mamatay si... Pwede mamatay si, ano, ano. Hindi, wala, wala pang pwede mamatay. Unless gumalaw ito na napaka-bongga. Gumalaw sila. Pag gumalaw sa elektro ng tatlo, tapos nag-activate din si Dr. Octopus ulit, mamamatay yung dalawa. So, sige, check natin. Okay, Mysterio and itong uh, dalawa na to mag-move. So, si Mysterio will move here. And then, bam. Ang bomb effect niya is uh, give one crisis token to each hero in mysterious location to this si Miles and Spider Gwen. So, ang mangyayari dito, pag may crisis token sila, random nila i-play play yung card nila. No? So, tapos nag-overflow pa. So, another card here, face down. Grabe! And then, Nag-move si Sandman. Si Sandman will deal ata. Gains one health. So, mag-heal siya. And then, deal one damage to each hero. No? So, uh, ayun na. Patay-patay na tayo. So, kay Miles at kay spider Gwen. Ayan na. The end is near. Okay. 
The end is nearing. The end is nearing. Yan na. Tapos magde-deploy ulit siya since na since overflow. Patay na tayo dito. Grabe naman, sakit naman nun. Okay, sino na sa nun? Si Miles na. So, wala naman tayong option, kundi isa apol to. So, randomly natin i-play play kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng crisis token. So, random play to. And we get the double wild. Sayang. So, mas okay sana ko yung punch eh. Kasi we have punches already. So, dalawang punch kay Tandma na lang. Tapos, meron ako heroic. Rescue tayo dito isa. And then, may move pa, may move pa si Mine. So, he can move here. Gamitin natin daily view. Then, reveal the top card of the master plan card. Pwede natin siya ilagay sa ilalim. Okay, ang mare-reveal is si Sinister Six. So actually, if hindi natin to ilalagay sa ilalim, safe tayo, I think. So mag-a-activate lang to ng isang beses. Actually, kailangan natin di mag-overflow to. Ka kaya ba siya? I think kaya, sige. Goods to goods. So, patayin lang natin si Sandman. No? Hopefully, mapatayin natin si Sandman. Okay lang to. Okay lang to. Pwede natin dyan na lang siya. So, si Spider Gwen na. So, yung next card niya, random ulit natin siya ilalaro. Good thing may, ano. Okay. Okay sa atin to. Okay sa atin. Kahit ano mabunot natin. So, nabunot ko yung may punch. Pero, since may dalawa akong... Since may dalawa akong ano... Um... Ay, teka. Mamamatay ba si ano? Ito yung top, diba? Mamamatay si Spider Gwen. Pero, I think okay lang. Okay lang. Sige, okay lang. So, gamitin natin yung isang punch. To damage si... Sandman, tapos yung isang punch to damage ulit ay yung isa, sorry, yung uh, ano dito wild, wild token no? so, teka lang so, meron pa akong wild and move so, patay na si na dito, nagdalagpakan sila dito patay na si si Sandman uh, mamamatay si Spider Gwen eh pero kailangan natin ano ba kasi ma -e electric yun siya ni ano tapos random ulit yung i-play play niyang card so ay actually hindi random mamamatay siya So, mababawasan yung deck. Pero okay lang, no? Baka return of Sinister 6 kasi yung mod ko. Ang gusto kasi mangyari, guys, magmumove ako dito. Tapos, babawasan ko lang ng isa to. So, sige, gawin na lang natin to. Move, tapos using yung isang wild card. Bawas tayo ng isang civilian. Tapos, Meron akong punch token. Maybe we can put it to someone. Siguro kay Dr. Octopus. Sige. Lagyan na natin si Dr. Octopus yan. Yan. Tapos sila na. Ayan. Ito nga yung kanina. Move lang ng one. So, ang gagalaw ngayon is si Electro and si um, Mysterio. So, mamamatay muna pala si Spider Gwen. No? So, I mean, si, yeah, si Ghost Spider. So, magmumove dito si Electro. Kukuryentihin niya to. So, basically, mamatay na si Spider Gwen. And, pero tayo dito. 
Yan. So, mag-play play tayo ng one card. And then, malalagyan to ng tag. Tapos, si... So, yan. Patay siya. Any any game effect. Walang effect sa kanya. Tapos, si Mysterio na. Move siya dito. And... Uh, ang mangyayari is... Magbabam siya. Kaso, since patay si Spider-Gwen, hindi siya magbibigay ng crisis token, no? So, ano siya eh? Dead na siya eh, bago pa dumating eh. So, ngayon, mag-deploy tayo ng isa dito. So, kahit ano pala mangyari, no? Patay pa rin. Pero okay, no? Um, and that's it. Uh, next turn na. Si Adam Warlock na. So, Quantum Magic. Look at the top 3 plan. Uh, top 3 master plan card. And pwede nating controlin. Maganda siya. Pero kailangan nating habulin kasi itong mga nandito. So, instead. I will play this na lang. No? Let's play this. So basically, may tatlong movement ako sa isang punch. So, one, two, tapos yung pangatlong movement ko, lagay natin kay Dr. Octopus. Yung weak spot niya, which is ito, movement. Tapos may isa akong punch. Punch natin si uh, Mysterio. And then, may, isa, may dalawa pa akong punch dito. Pwede natin gamitin yun. Pero kaya na ata patay ni Spider Woman kasi. Yeah, tipidin muna natin to. Kaya na siyang patay ni Spider Woman sa... I think ha, tatlong punch. Ay hindi, hindi pala. So, sige, spend ako ng isa. Tapos... Hmm... Teka, teka. Maganda yung ano yung isa niyong card. Sige. Ito na lang. Punch natin isa. Ah, tama. Ito na yung pinaka, I think, best move. That we can do. Tapos si Spider Woman, ha? Super resistance, you cannot take any damage this turn. Um, Miles might die. Ala, pwede siya mamatay. Pag nag-activate si... Ay, sure na! Actually, sure na mag activate si Doc Ock. So, mamamatay si Miles. No? Um, sige, okay lang. Let's do the double wild. So, do I have two move and dalawang wild so yung dalawang move dito 1 2 tapos um, yung dalawang wild may chance kasi hindi mamatay si Miles hindi mag activate si Dr. Octopus ang mag activate is si Mysterio and electro kaso ano yung chance ano yung chance so pwedeng hindi mamatay si miles eh o pwedeng mamatay din siya kasi may 3 moves ba for sure o oh, mamamatay din any other way feeling ko ang papatay kay miles si doc Ock or si electro so sige i'll move for 2 tapos yung dalawang wild gamitin ko na lang to kill na lang talaga kill na lang natin si um, Mysterio na. Magpatay na siya. Tapos, itong last na heroic token ni Spider Woman, let's use it to unlock yung weak spot ni Doc Ock. So, ang mahirap dito, guys, hindi pa natin nakukuha yung weak spot ni um, Electro. So, I think any other way, mamamatay na din si Miles, I think. Pero, tingnan natin kung mali yung decision, no? 
Kasi ang hinahanap ko, ang magmumove is si Electro and uh, Miles. Yun yung hinahanap natin. Ay, yung si Electro and Mysterio pala. Sorry. So, let's check. O, oh, diba? Tama lang yung decision natin. So, gumalaw si Doc O. Tapos, huling-huli pa nga si ano. So, tama lang. Wala na tayong palag dun. So, magmumog siya for one. Lalagyan niya to. Tapos, lahat ng heroes is madadamage. Maganda yung quantum magic ni... Ni ano? Ni Adam Warlock. I think, advantageous sa atin yan. So, remove ko na lang yun. Tapos, kay Spider Woman, ito na lang. So, tapos patay si Miles. So, another card. Ah! I think matatalo tayo. Tapos, nag-deploy siya ng isa. Tapos, si Electro na. Magsasak siya dyan. Tapos, um, nag-deploy siya ng isa. Dito. So, ilan na lang to Actually, madami-dami pa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards Huwag lang mamamatay Huwag lang mamamatay <laughs> um, Okay, si Miles na So, regen si Miles So, balik siya sa 3 cards Kailangan natin i-defeat si Electro. No? We have really two movements. So, yan. Buhay na ulit si Miles. And then, ayun. Dura tayo isa. Against a single enemy. Oh. Okay. Let's use this. So, I have two. I have two, ano. Um... Two wild, no? Two wild, isang punch. Tsaka isang move. So, yung first move, gamitin natin dito. Tapos, yung second move, eto. Dito. And then, may punch ako. Yung punch, unlock natin to. At may dalawa pa tayong wild, di ba? So, yung wild, gamitin natin to do heroic and movement. So, para ma-unlock na din yung weakness niya. Ayan. Then, si Spider Gwen na. So, babangon siya. Feeling, oh shit. Mamamatay itong dalawa. Mamamatay silang dalawa, guys. Ah, uh, one. Okay. So, tapos si Spider Gwen Sayang walang ability cards hmm. So movement and 2 punch Sige pwede na yun This will do So movement so... Siguro linisin muna natin to Defeat all build All tags here Mas okay na ito Kasi baka mas mabilis makuno ito mamaya Tapos, move and two punch siya. So, still move. Plus two punch K. Doc Ock. So, dalawang HP na lang. Mamamatay yung dalawa. The Spider Woman and Adam Warlock will die. Hindi ko pa kasi nadraw yung immortality. Sayang din yung Poison Blast. Unless walang bam, no? Tignan natin. Yeah, no. It's still a bam. So, ito na nangyari. Dr. Octopus will move here. And then, grabe yun, lakas. Uh, put one here. na combo si Miles patay tayo dito so and then bam lahat so tumba tong dalawa okay 
Guys, talo ata. Tapos, this one here. Malas. Even si Miles pala, tsaka si Spider-Man. Ito yung mahirap eh. Mamamatay si Miles next turn. So, ang mangyayari kasi is, magmumove naman si Electro. Punta siya dito. Ibabam siya. Madadamage si Miles. ba? Diba? Tapos, magde-deploy ng ita dito. Ang pangit yung turn pa. Teka. GG pag natalo, ubus yung resources. Okay. Si ano na? Adam Warlock. I think talo tayo guys. Fortunately, talo tayo. Immortality nandito na. Pero we have the double... I can want to end punch. Ang hina naman nun. Ah, hindi. We can kill. Okay. We can kill. Okay. We can kill Doko. We can kill Doko. Okay. Double wild. Double wild. No. I got double wild and two punch. So, yung double wild gawin natin movement. One, two. Then, yung punch na isa, tsaka tong token. Let's use it. So, that's two damage. Patay na si Doc. Oh. So, basically, last turn na ata ni Adam Warlock yun. Then, he gained movement, no? Yeah. Last turn na ni Adam Warlock yun. Hope we get double weld. Delay the villain turn by one card. Yes, I think. Delay the villain turn for by one card. Sige, lay natin to. Uh, two movement. One, two. Tapos, yung movement ko na two is sa, dahil sa kay Spider Woman yun. Ha? Yung, ay, dahil dito sa double wild. Tapos yung isang punch, punch lang tayo dito. Chill lang. Kasi pag nag-end tayo sa daily bugle, sabi, rebuild the top card of the master plan deck. You may place it at the bottom. So, pero, pero, delay siya. Na-delay pala siya. Delay siya. So, si Miles muna. Tapos na ba? Four card? No, hindi pa. Kailangan natin ng movement. Sayang walang movement si Miles, no? Walang movement si Miles! Oh no. Sayang walang movement. Okay lang. Okay, that's okay. So ito na lang play natin. Let's do two punch and heroic dito. Just before. Ay, teka. Nakita na ba natin to? Ay, di pa. O, okay, ito yung mangyayari. So, magmumog siya. Ang layo. Pero, walang mga overflow. Hindi siya gagalaw. Mamamatay si Miles. So, mas okay na gum... Ah, gagalaw siya dalawang beses, no? One. Attack. 
Depp mi oldu? Hmm, hata. Pero sino ba si Adam Warlock? Ang layo nila guys. So siguro, lagay ko na lang sa bottom to. Let's risk it. Let's risk. Lagay ko sa bottom no. Tapos, play na tayo. Okay. Baka may chance pa. So, ito yung nakuha ko. Activate all undefeated villains. Start with Doctor Strange. So, isang beses lang siya gagalaw. ba? Diba? So, that's one. And then, bam. Then, done. ba? Diba? So, ah, so 4 HP pa siya. 4 HP pa siya guys. Teka, sige. Tignan natin. Baka kaya pa ng last turn. So, magmumove lang siya ng isa, dalawa. Pupunta siya dito eh. Pupunta siya dito mamaya. So, hindi siya twice. Hindi. Kasi, Kasi Return of Sinister Six ang nag-activate. So, once lang. Activate all undefeated villains. Since isa na lang yung undefeated villain, so isang beses na siya gagalaw. So, kung ang nadraw natin is yung gantong normal card, twice siya gagalaw. Kasi yung Return of Sinister Six is everyone eh. So, everyone is isa na lang, di ba? So, Spider Gwen. Ayun! Spider Gwen. For the clutch. So, meron siyang... Uh, et, well, no-brainer. Ito na i-play play natin. Double Wild. So, meron siyang Double Wild. Heroic and Punch. So, yung Punch, dito na tayo kumuha. Last card, guys. Tapos, um, Heroic, sige, Heroic tayo dito. Then, isang move dito. And then, Rescue tayo isa. Basically, inuubos ko na lang. Tapos, pwede daw mo mag-rescue dito, pero mag a sa ibang location. So, rescue na natin to, tas add dito. Just to be sure lang. And then, si Adam Warlock na. So, makaka-turn pa si Spider Woman. Okay, this is heroic. Hindi natin kailangan yan. So, we can use this one. Yung Immortality. So, nandito na tayo sa outer part. So, Immortality. Meron tayong tatlong... Actually, may isang movement ako dito. So, let's move. Tapos, yung isa. Yung isang Wild. Move tayo kay Electro. And then, ay teka, nag-end yung turn ni Miles, no? Mag dito, mag-gain siya ng, ah, uh, mag-gain siya ng movement token. Hindi natin nagamit. Hindi natin nalagyan kanina. Nag-end siya ng turn dito. Tapos yung dalawang wild, two damage kay Electro. Yan. Last card. For the last card. Ayan, badaboom. Bam. And... Tag. So, dalawang best na siya gagalaw. Move. And then, magbabam siya. So, madadamage si Ghost Spider. Mm -hmm. Tapos, madadamage din si 
Spider Woman. Actually, patay na siya. And si Adam Warlock din, damage. Tapos magde-deploy siya ng isang tab dito. Nice. Tapos mag-a-activate ulit siya. Mag-move siya here. Then mag electric shock siya dyan. Walang tinamaan. And then, yeah. Put dito. So, next turn is Spider-Woman. Actually, patay na. Last turn. Sakto, guys. 2 HP. So, um, yeah, we, we, ha we only have one movement lang pala. Oh, shit. Tapos, ang sunod is si Miles. Okay, may one movement si Miles. Okay, sige. Sige, sige. Uh, may movement token si Miles. Bigay na natin to kay Miles. Bigay na natin to kay Miles. Kailangan niya mag-move kasi meron siya nito. May token siya, di ba? Nag-end ng turn siya dito kanina. So, bigay na natin to si Spider Woman. So, ang gagawin na lang niya is meron siyang heroic. So, um, heroic dito. Move. Ay, sorry. Move and then punch. Then she gains a punch token, no? Tapos si Miles na. So, no-brainer. Ito na yung gagamitin natin. So, nakakuha rin siya ng movement. So, pero buti na lang, no? Tinave ko yung item na yon. So, meron si Miles na heroic. So, gamitin natin heroic. Then, gamitin natin to Isang movement token. Dito. Tapos, uh, play pa na natin ito. Ito play play natin. Sorry. Tapos, meron pa ako isang move papunta kay Electro. Nice. And then, we use this one. So, against a single enemy in your location. Two damage. And currently, it only has two HP. So, dead. Last turn, guys. Last turn. Last turn dead. Ooh. Last turn. Grabe, last turn. Isang ano na lang oh. Wala na eh. Kung di, kung wala, kung di nag-end ng turn si Miles dito, wala siyang... Oo nga, yung move token. Di ba munti ako na makalimutan? Nag-e-end siya ng turn dito. That way, move token siya. Grabe yun. Move token nga. Oof. Intense yun ah. So, tama ba yung ano natin doon? yung rotation natin. Tama naman, no? Oh. Ay! Tinitignan ko to. So, oh tama. Kasi nandito si Electro. So, nag-end tayo ng turn dito. Wala tayong kasama. Tapos, nandito si Electro, nag-return of Sinister 6. Nag-move siya dito. Tapos, eto nga yung dalawa. Oh, tama lang. Oof! Too close! Grabe, buti na cross up natin. Pero, ubus na ubus yung resources natin, ha. Iniisip ko na kanina. Baka, ano, baka matalo. Tapos, yung resource inubos natin. Di ba? Yung, yung action tokens natin. So, anyway, yan, that's Sinister 6. So, finally, no, na cross up na natin sila. Grabe yun. Intense. So, pahinga muna si Adam Warlock, Spider-Woman, tsaka si Miles and si spider Gwen And finally, yun. And I think we will get Squirrel Girl. Not sure bakit si Squirrel Girl, no? Pero anyway, we got Squirrel Girl. Yan. Grabe yun. Ito, ito yung ubos yan, guys. Ubos. <laughs> Inubos natin. And, sulit naman, no? Imagine, paano kung wala? Paano kung wala tayo ng mga tokens na yun? Talong-talo. 
So anyway, that's why we prepare dito sa campaign na to, di ba? So hopefully tama yung play ko. Tama naman siguro at ng plays ko. Ubus na ubus na nga yung cards nila eh. So buti yung move token talaga na alala ko. So that's the touch, no? Hindi kasi nahabol ni Spider Woman eh. So anyway, um, cross off na. So tapos na tayo dito sa wakas. I don't, I'm not sure if I will unlock Spider Ham. Siguro, yeah, just for fun na natapos natin, unlock natin si Spider Ham. Pero ayun nga, hindi rin pa rin natin ma-unlock si Spider 2099 kasi wala tayong hourglass. Pero, yan, si Venom, we can unlock na din. I think madami pa tayong... Keys. Yeah, we still have 70 so okay lang. Unlock natin siya. So anyway, uh, tomorrow, ayan, back to basic ulit tayo. Uh, I might go below. Dito. So, punta tayo dito pababa. Daredevil and then Bullseye. Tapos Baron Zemo, no? Uh, pwede natin gawin yun. So... Yeah, I think that's it. Pwede nga na rin natin unlock si Nick Fury. I think maganda rin yung item ni Nick Fury. So, we can play... Um, we can play against... Hmm. Should we do Red Skull? I think sa Friday. Friday, let's do Red Skull on Friday. Pero right now, uh, siguro ang gawin muna natin is... Uh, Bullseye, uh, Baron Zemo, and then Craven. Ito ang tatlo. Tapos sa Friday, let's do Bob, tapos Red Skull agad. So, kumuha na tayo ng Infinity Stone natin. And yeah, yeah. so lahat ng possible ma-unlock na, na icon, kukunin ko na. Ay, I mean, i-ex mark ko na. Ayun, no, sabi nila na maganda yung si Winter Soldier. Yeah, and si, ano, no, si Cap. <laughs> Thematic. Actually, dun sa ano, yun nga yung una kong pinipili. Sige. Uh, unlock natin si Winter Soldier bukas. Kung makatatalo natin si Baron Zemo. Pero yun. Uh, sige, try natin Cap and Winter Soldier. Tapos add tayo ng isa. So, maybe we can add... Um, we can add Mockingbird or si Falcon. Sige yan. Tignan natin. Pwede natin i-add itong mga ito eh. Diba? Si Falcon or si Mockingbird. Pwede natin i-add. Sino pa ba yung pwedeng sa shield? Yes, yeah, sige. Sige. Si Mockingbird or si Falcon. Try natin i-add. So, tatlo sila. I think si Falcon yung best choice, no? Silang tatlo. <laughs> Kung may sense yung skill, no? Sabay ang, ang pangit pala yung combo nila. Pero, tignan natin. Tignan natin. Baka puro heroic yung action. Pero anyway, that's it. That's the game. That's the game of the day, no? Ayan, we defeated the Sinister Six. Very nice. So, yun. I think, ang isang ayoko dito sa team is si ano? Si, si ano ba? Ah, hindi eh. Nakatulong kasi. Pero si Spider Gwen siguro. Parang ang unti nung impact niya. Kasi, yeah, swap threat cards. I mean, di ba? 7, 8, 9, na-play ko ba lahat? 10, 11, 12, oo nga. So, parang walang impact si Ghost uh, Spider for this game. Kasi yung next boat is si Captain America. So, if we compare yung skill nila, so, last game na pala to, no, guys? Last game na. Actually, it would be much better nga kung si Captain America na lang kinuha natin. Kasi, Captain America, iba, 7. Tapos, si, si Ghost Spider has 6. Tapos, 5 pa yung attack ni Cap. Tapos, 4 yung movement niya. Tapos, 5 yung kay spider Gwen, Which is okay lang. Diba? Tapos, si Cap kasi, namimigay pa siya ng leadership tokens, diba? Higa, higat. 
Yeah, so he got three leadership. So nagpapaulan siya ng wild card. So sana pala no, si Captain America yung isa natin. Pero anyways, yun na yun. Panalo. Kung paplante, panalo tayo. Hindi na sayang yung binili nating resources. And I think that's what make this campaign work it. No? Kasi, ayun na, nakapag-prepare tayo. I mean, ang sakit sa ulo nito kung natalo tayo ng natalo, di ba? So, at least yun niya, may option tayo to prepare, di ba? So, yung pinagdaanan natin lahat to, yung, yung buong Sinister Six, kinala, kinalaban natin, and tas we do the Return of Sinister Six, no? So, parang babawi sana sila, pero mas malakas pa rin tayo. We came prepared, no? So, Yan. So, sige. Tomorrow, dito tayo sa mga street level tayo na na heroes. Street level. So, let's do this. Oo nga eh. Diba? Apat agad to. Adam Warlock agad. Goodbye. Ganon. Diba? Parang ang ano naman nun. Binawian ni Vulture si Adam Warlock. No? <laughs> so, asakit nga nun pag namatay to mga ko. Ang ganda nung line-up nitong party natin dito. So anyway, yeah, that's 3.47 already. So early out muna tayo ngayon. Uh, tomorrow, siguro if we can do 4 games tomorrow, much better. Unless, unless may mag-release ng expansion bukas. So medyo deep dive ulit tayo nun, mga 1 hour. Pero anyways, yeah, that's it. So early out muna today. And yeah, medyo intense eh. Kaya ako mong magpahinga dito. Grabe. Intense na intense tong Sinister Six. Nakaka-burn out. Na-play natin lahat to. Sabi ni uh, Justin niya, ayan, excited for Nick Fury Falcon Captain America. Yes! Oo oh, nga to. Si, si, si Nick Fury din pala pwede natin isama. And si Mar... Ay, spoiler pala yun. So, hindi, hindi. Wala pala. Wala, wala. Kasi may makakasama si Nick Fury sa, <laughs> sa multiverse, no? May mga makakasama na siya. So, yung mga agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No? may magkakaroon. So, anyway, that's it. So, after nitong sa street level, street thugs, sige, last na, bago tayo umalis, anong sa tingin nyo? Should we go X-Men? Or Fantastic Four? Or ano, ito, Guardians. Iniisip ko dito, should we go sa space na? As Guardians? Pwede tayo nga dito, as Guardians. So, si Loki. Well, technically, di si Loki to. Uh, three random enemy to. So, yun. Pinag-isip ko ako saan. Nasa pa si Doctor Strange? Ah, ito pala, nakidormamo. Nakidormamo siya, no? <laughs> later na yung, uh, later na Guardian, baka GG ka kay Thanos. Oo oh, nga, eh. Well, actually, we cannot fight Thanos pa naman. Diba? Kasi we, we need to complete the Infinity Stone. Kaso iniisip ko, sino ba mas mahirap? Si Thanos or etong Dark Phoenix? I think sila yung big bot eh. Yung mga big bad talaga. etong Dark Phoenix, di ba? Kasi kay Onslaught yun and still get the reality stone. Tapos kay Apocalypse naman yung time stone. So anyway... Iniisip ko sana tayo mag-expand eh. Pero, yeah, street level muna. Ayoko pa galawin to eh. Parang, ano pa ako dito eh. So, we can start sa Asgardian siguro. So, expand tayo dito. Sa Shape Shape, sa Slopey. Madali lang Dark Phoenix. Not unless you are referring to Phoenix 5. Ah, no, no, no. Phoenix 5 pala, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, special rules Phoenix 5. You have to use the Phoenix 5 rules. So, ito yung big boss. Ay, sorry, di nyo pala kita. So, ito, yan. Yan. Phoenix 5. Sorry, di nyo pala kita. This one. 
So, siya yung nire-refer kasi nung game na yun nga, Big Bad. Yung pinaka-boss fight nung. So, una is si Thanos. Which is actually si Thanos ata dapat yung pinaka-final boss. Kasi, you have to collect yung Infinity Stone eh. Well, actually, yung Crystal, kinokollect mo din siya. You, you need five. And so far, we have four. So, madali siya. Ay, we have four. We have two. Or one lang. One lang pala, sorry. Ay, two. Two. We have two. Oo, kasi si Killmonger. Si Killmonger, meron din. Diba? Si Killmonger, meron din. But nasa gitna. Oo nga no. Teka, bakit nga may Dark Phoenix? Kasi yung Phoenix 5 is... Wait lang. Kasi may kanya-kanyang reward siya. Hindi. I think as is to. Teka. Oo nga no. Ba't kasama si Dark Phoenix dito? Phoenix 5. Follow the campaign rules in the Phoenix 5 expansion. to fight this villains so so you're going to fight each one using phoenix 5 rule kasi uh, what i notice is may mga trophy sila ng kanya kanya ah okay okay so you have to fight everyone first no? Nalagay niya ba dito? So, follow the campaign rules. Okay. So, ma-unlock siya, no? So, so parang yung kay Thanos din. Di ba yung, yung rules ng kay Thanos for yung Infinity Gauntlet? Yung makakolekta na ano. So, anyway. Yeah, so, so let's check muna. Uh, for now, I think after no street level, dito tayo. So, punta tayo sa, sa part na to. No? Yeah. Sige, I think that's it. Thank you guys for joining. Success tayo, success. We defeated the PNX5. No? I PNX5, Sinister 6. Yan. So, yeah. So far, so good. Akala ko matatalo talaga kanina. So, okay. Thank you guys for joining. Bukas na lang ulit. So, maaga tayo ngayon. 4 o'clock. So, tapos, uh, street level daw ta si Hela and Kak. <laughs> Ayan. So, ang dami natin villains di sa, ano, no, dun sa uh, Asgardian side. Pero, yan. Street level muna tayo. And, yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.